Why is rocket fire being exchanged between Israel and militants in the Gaza Strip? Here's the latest breakdown. At this point, over 100 rockets have been fired into Israeli territory from militants in the Gaza Strip. And that number may have gone up by the time that you see this. So far, rocket sirens have been mainly going off in central and in southern Israel, including right here in Tel Aviv, in Sterot and in Ashkelon. The Israeli army is warning that more rockets are likely to be fired at Israel in the coming hours. Now, multiple Israelis have been injured running to bomb shelters, and a house has reportedly been hit in Sterot, but most of these rockets have not actually landed because of Israel's Iron Dome defense system, which has successfully shot the majority of those rockets down mid-air. In past conflicts, the Iron Dome has had about an 85 to 97 percent success rate at intercepting specifically short-range rockets. Now, over the past couple of hours, the Israeli army has identified the movement of Palestinian Islamic Jihad members who are preparing rockets to be launched into Israel. And as a result, the Israeli Air Force has carried out another round of airstrikes against these launch sites and is continuing to do so as we speak. As of this point, Israelis across the country are being advised to stay close to bomb shelters, if not inside of them. Why is this happening now? Well, this comes after the IDF assassinated three senior members of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad in surprise targeted airstrikes on the Gaza Strip yesterday morning, that's Tuesday morning. 12 civilians, including the children and wives of those members, were also killed in that very same attack. Now, the Israeli strike was carried out as a response to over 104 rockets being fired into Israel by Palestinian Islamic Jihad militants based in the Gaza Strip just days beforehand. And those rockets ended up injuring three civilians and damaging homes and vehicles here in Israel. Now, the Palestinian Islamic Jihad fired those rockets after a senior leader of the group died from a hunger strike in an Israeli prison. So who is the Palestinian Islamic Jihad? Well, the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, which is otherwise known as the PIJ, is a terrorist organization that operates in Gaza and the West Bank. It is the second largest organization in the Gaza Strip after Hamas, which rules the enclave. And in the name of Palestinian resistance, this group openly calls to annihilate the state of Israel and establish a religious Islamic state within the 1948 borders. The PIJ is considered one of the closest Palestinian terrorist organizations to the Iranian regime, since Iran provides the group with massive financial and logistical support as well. Now, over the years, the Islamic Jihad has been involved in almost every wave of violence and terrorism aimed at Israeli civilians, including the first intifada. And in recent years, the group's fired over a thousand rockets and mortars towards Israeli territory and as a long record of placing weapon launch pads and terrorist facilities into civilian infrastructure and neighborhoods, which ends up putting the lives of civilians in the Gaza Strip in danger. So what can we expect now? What can we expect at this point? Well, the Hamas leaders of the Gaza Strip say that this latest round of rocket fire into Israel is not a response to the IDF's airstrikes on Tuesday morning that killed 13. They say that this round of fire is a response to the IDF's latest strikes on Palestinian Islamic Jihad weapon launch pads in the Gaza Strip today on Wednesday. And they are warning that there's going to be a much bigger attack on Israel in the coming days. At this point, Israel is readying for the next reprisal.